Hi kids! This is going to be a short little video about something called the normal force and then it'll also help you or it'll step you through the first normal force uh, problem on the little normal force activity or using a bathroom scale. So first of all, so let's pretend you have a book that is sitting on the floor and I ask you draw a force diagram for a book sitting on the floor. You'd say all right well here's the floor here is my book and you would say well I have the force of gravity and then I have the force from the floor and you would say well these two forces have to be the same so you would write FG minus force of the floor equals zero okay well let's say that instead of this book being on the floor this book is on the table Okay, so you then, it, you know, if, if I was said, all right, well, here's my table and here's my book on the table uh, and I was to draw my FBD, my FBD would look something like this. I would have, well, the force of the table up and the force of gravity down. And you'd be like, oh, wait a second, that looks exactly the same. It's only a different thing. In fact, that's what I'm getting at with this normal force. Okay, so so we don't have to we can label this force, which is really the force from a solid surface from a solid surface. Okay, that uh, so rather than calling this FG f f floor and F table that we can just call this Fn for the normal force. So our equation or our FBD would just look something like this. Fn and then Fg. So that that normal force is that force from a solid surface. Now if you remember when we did the hover puck, when the hover puck was on, there was no normal force because it what the solid surface wasn't holding it up. When the hover puck was off, then there was a normal force. So just again, be careful. Don't always think oh, well, the normal force has to, you know, always point up. No, it's you. Every problem is separate. Um, let's say you had a ramp and we put our book on the ramp. OK, well, does the normal force point straight up? No, of course not. The normal force in this case points this way. And if you notice, that is perpendicular to the surface which is why they call it normal. Okay, in math speak, the word normal means perpendicular. So let's write that down. The normal force Fn is always perpendicular to the surface. Okay, and we're, we're gonna get to problems like this later on, but if I was drawing all the forces acting on my book, if it's on a ramp, if it's not moving, all my forces are going to look something like this. Well, if it's not moving, that means that the net force has to be zero. Well, we're going to sh I'll show you how we'd break FG into its components. But the other way we could do it is if you add all these forces up, so this plus this plus this, so normal force plus force of friction plus force of gravity. Hey, look, I end up back at my starting point. My F net equals zero. Okay, but we'll, we'll do more of that later. But for right now, I just wanted you to, I wanted to introduce this idea of normal force. Okay, all right. Normal force is related to the force from a scale. And you're going to do a little activity where you using a bathroom scale. I want to go through the first uh, one with you. So let's say here is you. I know that looks just like you. And you are hanging out on a bathroom scale. So there is your bathroom scale. Okay. And I want to draw the forces acting on you. Now this is where it's super duper important that you draw the forces that are acting on the object because the forces acting on the scale are the different than the forces acting on you, which are different than the forces acting on the earth. So we're going to draw the forces acting on the person. So let's just draw a dot for the person because that's easier because again, you can draw a box or a dot, but we're going to draw a dot for the person. 
Um, this dot is going to represent the person's center of mass, okay? And we're going to draw the forces that are acting on the person. Well, what's acting on the person? Well, there's the normal force acting on the person from the scale pushing up on them. And then there is gravity pulling them down, okay? And yes, these two forces are going to be the same, okay? Are they always the same? No, they are not, okay? Remember that word always is yucky. Okay, that word always means you're trying to memorize things. I want you to understand things. In this case, they're the same. Okay, they will not always be the same. Do your second step, and we're going to write our equation. So you get Fg minus Fn equals zero. Okay. Um, well, in this case, that means that, remember, if, if you remember from what we did, you know, previously, Fg equals Mg, okay, because force of gravity equals m times g, which should make sense because if the only force acting on an object is the force of gravity, if you write your equation, you get fg equals ma, but we know if the only force acting is gravity, the a equals the acceleration due to gravity, hence fg equals mg, okay? But if I was to write this, I would get mg minus Fn equals zero. Well, if I knew what the scale reading was, which is this guy, I could plug that in and then I could solve for the mass because I know I'm on Earth. Okay. Now, here I want to make sure you understand this is one case where Fn equals Fg. Well, in this little activity, you're going to have somebody push down on you or you're going to use, you know, put it next to a counter so you can push down on yourself and then pull up on you. So in this activity, I want to make sure you're, we're, you're going to start having other force besides this just acting, but the one thing that is going to stay the con stay the same is going to be your force of gravity, because what is that? Your weight. And I want to make sure you understand this. If somebody pushes down on you, that doesn't make you fatter, okay? If someone pulls up on you, that doesn't make you skinnier. Okay, your weight is staying the same. So once you find your weight in the first part of the normal force activity, now you know Fg for the whole time. If that it comes out to be like if it was me, it would be 185 pounds. Okay, and once I know that weight, well then, no matter what, my Fg is going to be 185 pounds. Okay, all right, I hope that makes sense. Bye, kids.